Hello everyone, welcome to the next episode of Civilization 4. We are playing the Dawn of Civilization mod and I'm your host Exilius. And welcome back, playing as the mighty Russians, where we are in fact going to invade the Middle East. And we're going to seize it away from the Dutch. Of course we do have here the, um, the Italians actually control some part of the Holy Land here. Which is a little bit awkward. And yeah, we do actually have a possession down here in the form of Austria. A bit of colonial game going on there. I don't know what happened. Maybe we'll even invade, like, the Mughal Empire or something. We could also consider maybe trying to subjugate France. Although, I get the feeling that that would actually go the other way for us. But I did notice we can still attack here by having a look. 94% uh, chance of success. What could possibly go wrong? Kaha! There it is. So we got psychology. And that also allows totalitarianism if we so wish to have that. Which, you know, I mean, it wouldn't be god-awful for us. It would go with state party very well, although not constitution. Oh, but no. I think I will keep egalitarianism because it's giving us some good science. And we are actually doing quite progressively well. And we've got a really good war machine anyways. Um, however, I do in fact want to get some of these going. The uh, intelligence agencies. Uh, so we will get those going. And then we'll keep producing tanks. Lots of tanks. Hey. I'm just wondering. So department stores and yeah, and lots of factories and that sort of thing. And yeah, I'm going to bring this army back this way. Now that we've won that war. And we are going to in fact go after the, uh, yeah, the Dutch. Of course, we are in a bit of a tricky situation there. Because if you'll notice, they do actually have a upgraded artillery unit. So we have to be very careful. Let's go to the next turn. And we'll see where we can pick it up from there. A war with France would be like the ultimate endgame sort of thing, because then we could reclaim the Crimean Peninsula, which would be quite um, quite an amusing thing. Do it in 2000, um, what was it, 2015, 2016? I think it was 2014 actually, 2014-15. That's when the, um, the big Crimean sort of crisis was going on. Still is a Ukrainian crisis, I believe, but, ah, I don't know. When the news goes away from it, right, and the, uh, and they don't, they don't tell you anything else. It's like, what? It's still an ongoing thing. It's like, no, it's not, no, it's not. It's under the, it's under the rug. Like, oh, right, then. I'll just, I'll believe you. Even though I really won't, and I'll get scared about what's going to happen. Uh-oh. Right, let's build an electrical grid so we can get some more stuff going on. I think at this stage I'm just going to get my tank sort of full-on, you know, aggression mode. Oh, I suppose I'll bring my tank into here. Um, City-taking tanks would be good as well. We do have cavalry here. Well, there's not really cavalry. Here's a Corsac. A Corsac. We do have the money actually to start upgrading some of our units here, so I'm thinking all riflemen currently should be upgraded. Um... Yeah, we'll keep you guys there for now. We'll also give you detection invasion. Send you back to France. Maybe we can steal some more tech. And yeah, we'll think about invading. I guess we'll take Sousa first. No, it looks like the SDI has been built by the United States. Which is fine, because, like, I mean, I tried to ban nukes anyway, so I don't have any problems with that. We are in their territory now, so they can make use of their own railway system. However, I am going to just push in this unit as well, just so we've got a nice, good, solid core of units there. And we will rebase our air force down here, because we do actually, in fact, have the ability to counter them uh, by air. So, there we go. Give it a little attack there, and possibly we could take it out. Hmm. Still a bit iffy, actually. Or Ife. <laughs> Ife. Um, I will rebase you down to Kargrad. Kargrad. Alright, and then we'll move this army back along here. Seems to have stopped. Is there any particular reason for it stopping? No. Apparently it wants me to attack from there. I'm considering just moving here and then... Uh, yeah, it keeps wanting to move that way. Who is it? Is it is it this infantry? Or is it... Oh, uh, this infantry. I suppose it's the artillery, isn't it? Yeah, it would be. Hmm. 
Yeah, and then just sweep away with a... Well, I suppose I could use my Cossack, couldn't I? Nah, it's still 50-50, that one. Alright. Ooh, ouch. Boom! Take one Russian to the face. Alright, there we go. Yeah, Russian roulette on yourself. Isn't that kind of the idea, sir? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, soldier. Go to Gulag. Alright, it is now time to make peace with the United States because I don't care. I don't care about you. I do want to spy on you, but I don't care about you, personally. Oh, we are also at war. Oh, really? Actually, that could have been bad news for us, to be honest. Uh, do we have our railroad built up yet? It looks like we do have a good railroad system sort of connected. Shush. Enough of the pieces. I mean, thank you, Soviet bloc, for being being loyal comrades. Okay, so well, what we do need, actually, then, is to get this tank, get some artillery guns. Maybe we could just upgrade now. Well, next turn. We'll start moving them this way. Because, yeah, I actually really would like to get some pieces over there. Oh, we've got an army here as well. Which, you know, I mean, we don't need the strongest army. We just need to have the most Brazilian units. Um, that should be a good enough garrison. There's nothing really threatening in that direction. So, yep, send them as well. And then we will go and invade Korea. Korea. Oh, we've even got a, a nice Arabian army there with a trebuchet. Well done to you, Arabia. Oh boy! What is that? Looks like they just put in an army there. That's a bit unfortunate. I'll have to be stealthy. But yeah, we will seize this region. Possibly give it back to um, Arabia. Because I mean, they are our loyal vassals. Why not? More laborers. And we shall get a cinema. I mean, maybe. Broadcast tower. I mean, it's useful to get more intelligence agencies. Egypt Church, I think. This city's not really doing too hot, is it? Wow. Um, get a forge. It's going to take you a bajillion years, but it'll be worth it, soldier. Okay. Ooh. Hello there. A few of those. Now, it would be great, actually, to pounce in and take those out. I suppose we can use one. Can we go into the city and then just attack? And then, like, we'll be protected by the city. Ha 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 ha. Can we attack again? Really? What? We've got bullets? Damn. That's pretty cool, actually. Although, that does mean that tank is now vulnerable. Alright, well, let's move in. I'm just wondering which is the better to attack. They do have tanks as well now. Hmm. That does complicate things. Apparently, this tank can do a really good job in that city right now, though. Can these artillery get to the city? No. Then maybe what we want to do is get ourselves to a fortified location. I mean, attacking this city is probably a good idea, though, right? Like, no. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to cut round with our soldier air. Soldier air. We're going to bring them down through this way. Ooh, we've got more tanks on the way. Haha. <laughs> Excellent. See, now this feels more like World War II, right? So the world has lagged behind a bit technologically. But apart from that, we do, in fact, have uh, the capability of doing great things. Um, I do want to move you. No, no, no. I want to move you. Probably rebase you to here. Put you in range of a few things. And that one as well. Yep. And you can already start hitting things. So air bombing would be a great idea. Probably here. It's quite, quite adorable, actually. <laughs> it's just a biplane. Um... Got a spy back here, lovely. But yeah, I think a war with France would be very interesting. See if we can get the Dutch to capitulate, though. That's the kind of idea in this situation. Um, I think we're all good for next turn. Yep, next turn, please. So yeah, we are the second superpower in the world. Although it would be nice to become the superpower. 
America just has too many techs. America. But yeah, if we can get more nations in our block, then I guess we'll definitely be really powerful at that stage. This would be a great time for, what is it, the vassalage? No, tributaries. Oh. Because technically, that is what we have. Sorry, tributaries, not tributaries. I always call them tributaries. Alright, more intelligence agencies. We need more intelligence. Yes. And more money. Right. You go do what you want. You are actually going to be excellent and useful. Alright. So they didn't attack us. Which is pretty cool and unexpected. So you're just the normal, really good at um, yeah doing that sort of tank. That's fine. Is that actually a river crossing? No, good. Ooh, completed the Apollo program. That's a bit dangerous. Okay, so now we could attack the city potentially. Take it. Well, let's throw in a few attacks. In this. have actually done an air bombing raid first. Air bomb. Really? Oh, there we go. Guess I selected the wrong thing. Um, you also can do that. Cool. We also have these two tanks who can't make it in time, unfortunately, but eh. A lot of people moving around. That's kind of funny. Take that! Nice. Awesome. And I guess there's not much more we can do with this artillery because it's not very good at that point. So we could start considering. Yeah, just. Boom! Getting into city! start sending some infantry in there as well. Yeah, this should be successful. I mean, 9% is 9%, right? Yeah, we can let you take it. We'll need at least two units in there anyways. Ha! There it is. And, no, I will return it to the... Um, yeah, to the Kingdom of Arabia. Because they seem to be able to reinforce that immediately. That's going to be very good news for us. Alright, we've got two armies now. We've, I wish you could name the armies. Like, this is the first army and this is the second. Ah, look at that. We have finished. We have finished it. The road is complete. I mean the railroad. So we finished our Trans-Siberian Railroad. Which is amazing. Amazing. That's amazing. Put these two together forever. Alright. And now, next turn. We'll see how the situation starts to de-escalate. Maybe we can get the Dutch to capitulate. But I do want to take the entirety of the Middle East first. So yeah, that is the plan here. Well, not the entirety, obviously. I mean, if we want to go after Egypt, we could also consider that because they do possess our holy city. Perhaps we could do a bit of a, um, a bit of a pilgrimage down there. Not a crusade. No, no, no. Pilgrimage. Mm. <laughs> crusade. Who said anything about a crusade? Ah, oh, you guys are funny. All right, so it looks like um, Arabia had a bit of a scrap with them, which is excellent, actually. That means I can go and hopefully finish this guy off. I mean, the tank's a bit battered up and damaged. Now we got him. Beautiful. And yeah, we can start our march this way. It's not going to be a simple uh, march, unfortunately. All right, and this tank here... Yeah, we can send this down this way as well if we are going to invade here. Um, well, I will give you a bonus. It's nice to have some diverse units. 
it would be nice to heal these up, actually. So I'm going to move them in. I'm going to heal them in the city for a turn whilst we start a bombarding campaign. Oops, sorry. Bloop. Oh, that didn't really work out. Air bomb. Was that an air bomb? That didn't, that didn't feel like an air bomb. Whoa! Well, hello there. Oh my. I did not see that. Um, Alright, change of plans here. So we have got ourselves a bogey. We have got ourselves some trouble, my friends. Alright. So we've drafted some units to go in here. They've got a lot of artillery, though. So this could be actually quite uh, one-sided. We'll keep ourselves a pistolier around, maybe. They have been traversing our territory though, so they should be a little bit weakened. This guy's on the railroad, luckily. We can also gather ourselves some more troops. Pop them here. I mean, these are unfortunately not upgraded soldiers. But well, you know, you do your best with what you've got. Um, is there anything else we could use here? Probably a bombard. That's probably going to take too long to get there. We do have this army coming in as well. They're going to be far too late. We also have, I guess, these units here we could also bring up. In fact, we can bring them up directly into the city here. And maybe even get a shot off. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that was pretty good, actually. Okay, we can't use our knights. I mean, definitely can't use our Kabuzi is. But yeah, it's better to actually go on the offensive here because they've got lots of artillery. So let's try a few attacks here. Oh, nice. Perfect. I'll probably lose this one. That does tend to happen. Oh, nice. Now we did it. And yeah, take out the Grenadier. And then they've only got, what, two units to take the city with us at that point? Oh, perfect. That was actually better than I thought. Yeah, better than I thought. And then I suppose in this situation we'd want to actually go and reinforce the city in case they try any funny business that way. Nice! And that's what you call having a railroad. So that way you can reinforce uh, urban centers and stuff. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two guys out here as fodder. Just, you know, just to shut all that down. Right, they definitely can't take the city with just a rifle and, and a grenadier, right? No. So let's pull these guys out. And we'll get ready for the counterattack. Alright. So air bombing mode. Boom. Reduce the defenses there is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then we'll prepare for assault. That <laughs> assault, assault. We will prepare, prepare for... Assault. <laughs> Sorry. I can't say it properly. Alright, next turn. Next turn. Aviation. Well, we will get aviation soon. It's good that the AI is using the forts, though. They are recognizing that what they have there is, in fact, defensible. It's too bad it's not going to help. Oh, he's going straight in for it. Wow. Well done. It's too bad it's all for nothing, basically. Ooh, so Korea will capitulate. Excellent. You give me a ton of stuff for my oil. But he already has oil. Alright. <laughs> Silly. Now what do I want is you hit singles. Okay, never mind. Bum 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 bum. Broadcast tower would be nice. As would a Catholic church, I guess. Smokehouse. Coal plant. Orthodox church. Hospital. Because honestly, we've wrapped this situation up very well. We didn't even lose any units. Still can't attack with that. Can I use the bombard again? Didn't really do much. Um, yeah, we can get in there, but we can't attack. 
Can we get the tank attack? Tank attack. Yes, we can. Ta da! Boom. Tank is strong. Kind of, I kind of had a feeling that 20% was kind of bad. Ah, uh, 20%, right. Oh, we can use our cavalry here. Yeah, and just finish them off. What they're doing. defense of our homeland. Right, let's keep lowering the defenses here. Is that a Dutch unit? No, that is not. So we actually should be clear here to make the river crossing. And yeah, prepare for our final assault, I guess, on the, the major center. We'll keep one infantry there, though. But I did want to get to this tile, so I don't know why they're doing all that. It's just silly. Are right, you heal? And then you can also do a little attack there. Heal and heal. Got our artillery guns, which are coming into this city here. More units of tanks, which we can bring down here. Oh, that's right. No, these guys will capitulate. Perfect. Yeah, no, perfect. And we will take your silk. And you'll also do this, and we'll give you refrigeration. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> well, you know. Become communist. Just fine. We probably don't actually need all the material here now. Then again, it's probably wise to keep some soldiers here, just in case. Now, Italy's a bit of a fawn in my empire here. So is France. But, I do want to go out take out this city because it is our traditional capital. Uh, you're just there for no reason, aren't you? Yes. Now, will the Dutch capitulate is another question. Yes, they would. But the problem is, I want this city. And then I want them to capitulate. So that is the difference here. What about you, Mexico? Of course, you're not going to capitulate because you're too far away. The English Empire, definitely not. Canada, no. Let's see if we can get any other vassals here, though. Nah, you're too far away, anyways. What about Egypt? We are at war with Egypt. Which I actually hadn't realized. Cool. Alright, next up. Oh, is that a Mughal army I see? Wow. Ha. Huh. Wow, it's the one. <clears throat> Probably gonna die this time. No! <laughs> well done, well done. That was actually pretty excellent. Yes, yeah, so that was a Mughal attempt to invade. That was pretty funny. Mm, Portugal. Nah. What else can we get here? Nuclear bomber as well. They would be pretty cool. Destroyer. I suppose it would be wise to get rocketry at this stage. Let's build some bombers. Yeah, bombers! And airports. Yeah, and actually, and airports, because airports are very, very useful. Um, 
sewer system. Yeah, all our cities are tr atrocious with their, um, their sewaging. Yeah, let's just build a ton of bombers. Alright, what do we want now? Do we want diplomatic victory? I don't think people would vote for us. Um. Then again, I might give this another go. Because I'm interested in a world that's going to be like that. Alright, so we've moved those there. There's no way they can actually take this city. The difference is they might be able to take our take our lives. They can take our lives, but they can never take our freedom. Yep, airstrikes. Alright, we can probably take the city now actually. It's probably not a wise decision to go on the attack now, but you know what? They will capitulate, so... That's what I wanted. And yeah, storm the city. Anything better to storm the city with? Maybe. Ooh, it's anti-tank. Too bad it didn't work. <clears throat> yeah, maybe we'll prepare for another kind of war very soon. Right, time to liberate <laughs> the Middle East. For bringing communism to this country. Nah, no, we'll keep this one. Because, I mean, we can link it up then. I mean, Babel's probably a much better system city, but... Alas. Alright, let's do it. Where is it? Where is it? You give me the city of Cap Van Diemen. Cap Van. Don't know if I really know what that is. I'm sure I should. Yeah, capitulation. Maybe give me a tech. Like electronics. Hmm. Okay, true. Nah. They're not keen to give me any sort of additional things. What about Delhi? They won't give me Delhi. Um, alright, well we'll take that city and we'll see what it is, and then we'll make a decision based on that. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, we want those spices. Yep. Thank y'all. So there we go, Amsterdam. <laughs> this is great. So what city did he give us? Was it... Oh! <laughs> he gave us he gave us essentially the equivalent of um, Auckland, which is just pretty funny actually. Um, there's not much I could do with it though. That's the problem. But yes, we have Soviet New Zealand. <laughs> uh, it's all right. We'll just we'll give it back. Oh, this is so cool building such an empire. But remember what happens in the Ottomans. We will not forget what happened to poor Ottoman Empire. Oh, we also went to war with America again. If they started invading Europe, though, we'd probably be finished. No, we wouldn't, because we're Russia. We are Russia. We bow to no one. Um, who else can we get to capitulate? Come on, little, you know, our bee, beehash. Probably Egypt. Oh, enough of all the declarations of war. It's so ah. You know, I'm gonna send them in. Who are they sending in? Everybody. That's kind of extreme. Okay. I like it. Alright, we still have this army actually that was coming this way. But now that we've sort of organized ourselves a bit better, I was still going to send you here. Maybe we could think about invading China. Could be funny. In many ways, they're almost useless now. Just get rid of the ones with no experience. They're a good token garrison. Yeah, you, we don't need you either. But I wanted to be needed. Um, yeah, upgrade to a fighter. That's a good idea. Also, you can steal from France, probably. No. We could perform some counter-espionage just to start with, though. 
Um, oh god, look at all this. Alright, well, let's upgrade that, that. And yeah, we'll probably have to think about turning down our, um, what do you call it? <coughs> our power. I don't like, though, that he's got the city in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's a bit silly, but I do love that he's got New Zealand. He's even got the levees going on. Like, look at that. Because <laughs> that would be cool. Probably. Probably gore. Yeah, probably. Right, airports. Airports everywhere. Please. Alright, next turn. And then we'll probably bring Clear. Probably bring it to a close. Oh, is that an artillery piece I see there? The missing artillery piece. Isn't that adorable. Yeah, America's still ahead of us, which is just ah. How dare they? Ooh, why not? Would you be my vassal? Hmm. It'd be amazing if you did. Just, yeah, airports everywhere. Let's do it. And bombers. Alright, everybody said no again. Which is really annoying. Like, come on. Why would you want nukes? I suppose America's already got some nukes, so that would be one reason. Like, oh no, we can't have one person in the world with nukes, because then that's like, you know, ridiculous. Alright, let's another tank. I'll just send them here. We might even be able to take the city just now. Without any, like, artillery or anything. Let's do, we'll do an air bomb, we'll do a unit bomb. And we will send in, basically, all our tanks and just crush it. Yeah, you guys just heal actually, because you know you've done a great job, but you need to heal. You can come join the fray, <laughs> Walter Frey, and you can head into here. And yeah, we'll think about invading India. But that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.